Hello, my people. It's so good to be back here again. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. You guys are awesome and wonderful, and I really appreciate you. Remember that um, the headsmen have actually taken over Southwest, and even today they hit back into some of the states again. Like, you know, some people were actually attacking Sunday Bohoda. I was doing it too much and all of that. But see, even after the uh, state government, Ondo state government and other southwest state governors had a meeting that these guys should register before they are allowed to, you know, rear their cattle uh, around. But guess what? They still went ahead to kill farmers and did all sorts of things. Well, this thing is really getting out of hand. I remember that even the president is supposed to have, you know, uh, 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 call these people terrorists. They should be called out as terrorists. But I wonder what he's still waiting for. I wonder until a whole community is brought down before these guys are actually uh, are named as terrorist groups. Because what they do is even worse than what terrorists would actually do. But anyway, that is not really why we're here. We're here about, uh, you know, Sunday Igboho, about what he did and uh, you know there are some things there are some kind of boast that he made that he has actually come out to talk about because really you know this guy has really done some good things but you know there are some yoruba monarchs and chiefs and kings that have been calling him out saying that uh, what he has done is enough that he should just take the back seat and just relax because um he has actually shown himself he has done what he needs to do but well we just hope that uh, that is all but just like we saw even after the headsmen were warned, they still went ahead to attack other communities in some of the southwest states. But let's see why Sunday Igboho is so confident and why he's making a boast about, you know, giving one million naira for months. And he said nothing will happen to him. He wouldn't feel it. Well, let's see why he said all of this. Well, more of these details will come to you shortly. But please, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button. And also give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get updated anytime we drop a new video. All right, guys, without wasting much of your time, let us get right into the details of this report. As it says that some leaders of Yoruba youth paid a solidarity visit to the home of Yoruba liberation fighter and activist. Mr. Sunday Adegemo Ibuho to register their support for him in a stand for Yoruba land. According to Ibuho, who said it took up the challenge to fight for Yoruba, not for the monetary gain, as being thought by some people because he is already rich enough to give out one million naira every month for eight years without feeling it, or rather, did he begin activism to make name because the name Igboho has been known since 1990. However, he appreciated men and women of Yoruba extraction for standing solidly behind him. But he is more grateful to the ones in the diaspora for resilience in standing behind him, him in all ramifications. He added that Yoruba region is ubiquitously blessed by nature in terms of fresh water, fertile land and natural resources the region possesses possesses it all. He also he also the medium of said in the medium of appreciate loyal fathers of the land for their indescribable love for the land and how they stood their ground for speaking out in defense of the land. His eminence the Allah the Alafin of Oyo, Oni of Ife, son of Ogbomosho, Awujale of Ijebode, Alake of Egba and many more. He also used the opportunity to appreciate the bravery of Mr. Fanny Kayode and the indomitable ex governor of Ekiti Ayodele Fayoshi for really showing that they truly they are truly illustrious sons of the soil as they vehemently spoke and condemned what currently happening in Yoruba land. Likewise learned leader Kero Dulu of Ondo State and Dele Momodu. He reiterated that he wasn't bankrolled by any politician or influenced by them, for he took up challenge when prominent sons and daughters of the land were being kidnapped and killed by the extent to the extent and Oba was also kidnapped and nothing was done by the government of the day about it. These were actually the very reason that informed his own decision to change the narrative. He stated categorically that with the educational level of Yoruba sons 
and daughters, it's appalling that many of them weren't employed but ended up going into prostitutions in countries like Dubai, Saudi Arabia, and Libya. He added that never would you see Hausa or Fulani in these aforementioned countries doing prostitution. If they must come, it's for business, unlike most Igbo and Yoruba doing prostitution in these countries because they were denied jobs back home. What? Yes. So guys, uh, you can see that uh, Sunday Bo really has the interest of the Yoruba people at heart because he said he's actually out to fight for the Yoruba land because, uh, you know, he said it has, uh, the, the, the land has been cheated for too long and now that the headsmen feel they can just walk into any state and take over the state and begin uh, killings of young men and women who are hustling and try to make ends meet through, uh, through uh, farming and yet it's, they are frustrating their efforts. Well, he said something very important. He said he's not doing all of this for monetary gain or because of, or because, uh, you know, someone that is a politician has asked him to do this. But rather, he said he decided to take up the challenge to fight for your balance, not because of the money, but because some people were already saying that uh, it is because of money or because he wants popularity. But he said something. He said he can give out one million naira every month for eight years and he wouldn't feel it. Or rather, did he begin activism to make name because the name Igboho has been known since 1990. And he, however, also appreciated some Southwest governors and ex-governors who stood by him while he was trying to fight for Yoruba land. He said that he really appreciates these people for their resonance in standing behind him because he said without them some people would have just put him aside and or done some uh, evil things to him and he also said that the yoruba land is one land that is known for fertility because the land is so fertile and also he said the region possesses fresh water and their lands are fertile and also have natural resources he said, so why would they allow their lands to be taken by headsmen and he said even because there are no jobs in the land most of the daughters of the yoruba land are now going into prostitution in saudi arabia dubai and other countries in uh, uh, africa and other parts of the world he said which is not supposed to be he said neither can you see those from the north doing such things but because the southwest and south south and southeast have been cheated that is why some of these things are happening well you've heard it all and we hope that uh, uh, there are more people who will stand up for their lands, just like Sunday Igbohu has done. Well, guys, that is it from here. Thank you so much for listening. Whatever you have to say, please drop it in the comment section and give this video a thumbs up. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.